recently took Marie Kondo's online course to clean up my childhood bedroom, and I really enjoyed the process. I was so genuinely surprised at how much I enjoyed the process. I thought it would be fun and challenging, but it was extremely fun, and with all the steps in the course, it actually was surprisingly not that hard. And in this video, I wanted to talk about books in particular, because this was one of the biggest reservations that I had about the course and the method was I love books and I really didn't want to give away uh, all of my books and I have a lot of old books just a, I had a huge collection of books and it was something that I was really attached to and I was like I don't want to give these away and um, when I dove into the course I saw that it was actually going to be pretty possible for me to uh, use the method on my books and my bookshelves and my library in a way that actually did feel good for me, that it wasn't just going to require me to give away all of the books that I had, which is something that I was sort of afraid of. I thought maybe it's just going to require me to have no books or very few books or something, but instead it was just the same basic method that applies for every kind of object, which is to physically pick up every object that you own and see if it sparks joy, if there's a emotional resonance in your body or if it is meaningful to you and if it is then you keep it and so when I did that with all of my books um, first off it was really nice because um, a lot of the books were actually pretty dusty and so um, you know I just got to clean them and have them not be so dusty anymore and then I just went through one book at a time and uh, one thing that I noticed almost immediately was that a lot of the books that I had actually brought up negative emotions for me. Um, there was like grief that I hadn't read certain books or um, some books had been gifts from people that I had complicated emotional relationships with or things like that or um, books that made me angry because of something that happened in them and they actually weren't sparking joy and when I noticed that it made me want to uh, kind of process those feelings and move on so that I could give the book away and I didn't want to keep them anymore. So really whittled down my whole book collection and then came to um, just a nice collection of books that I actually do really enjoy and feel uh, joy when I see them or when I read them. And it's uh, more books than I expected. I have two full bookshelves of books and it's also less books than I started with. There's no uh, extra weight. Just every single book that I own genuinely sparks joy for me as something that I genuinely enjoy and I'm happy to have. So I thought I'd do a quick book tour of my bookshelves because it brings me such joy and I thought it might bring you some joy to see as well. So this is the first bookshelf. It's not a full bookshelf, but these are the books that I'm actively reading or I'm hoping to read soon. Um, the three on the right are ones that I've recently read and I'm really hoping to get to soon and then these ones are sort of on deck that I books that I'm planning to read or that I'm currently reviewing like a couple of these I've read before but I'm sort of using as references right now so I'm looking at them a lot whereas the others are ones that I've started or plan to read soon um, so this is kind of like an active reading shelf. Uh, this shelf is the one that really made me resistant to uh, the Marie Kondo method at first. This is all the books that I had from my education at St. John's, and um, I didn't want to give them up because they're a really nice collection of books, and, um, you know, just having the completeness of all of the books that I read while I was there makes me really happy. And then, you know, when I realized, oh, these books make me happy, and having all of them makes me happy uh, so I can keep them, that was really empowering. And I still did go through all of these. And, you know, as I say, I dusted them off and there were actually a few that I turned out not to need or um, that I could let go of. So I did clean those out and then this is what remains. So this top shelf is, is um, well, first off, these are some of the manuals of different uh, texts that I read at St. John's, you know, things like lab readings or music readings or things like that. And then these were, um, sort of like assorted extracurricular books that I read. A lot of Shakespeare and uh, some extra copies of some of the books on the program. Like um, I have some extra translations of the Phaedrus, for example, because I wrote my senior paper on that and I wanted to have a few different translations of it. Um, so these are kind of like extra books. And then this is the freshman year shelf. 
<clears throat> all the Greek stuff, Plato, Euclid, Plutarch, Aristotle, Herodotus, Thucydides, stuff like that. And this is the sophomore year. Got the Tanakh and the Bible and, you know, some other things in there. Plotinus, that was a real favorite. Um, really loved Descartes' math, actually, quite a bit. Uh, yeah, so that's the sophomore year. This is the junior year. Let's see what were some favorites in here. Definitely Huck Finn. Love that. Middlemarch. Oh yeah, Don Quixote. My favorite books for sure. Pascal. And this is the senior year. <clears throat> War and Peace. Heidegger. Oh yeah, Virginia Woolf. Definitely one of my favorites. Dostoevsky. Joyce, Nietzsche, Faulkner. Lots of good ones in there. Yeah, so I really liked having the completeness of all of the years of my education at St. John's, and so I kept most of these books. These are the more of the contemporary books, not ones necessarily that I read at St. John's, so I've got um, a fair bit of Buddhist books from Wat Metta, a lot of Tanisaru Bhikkhu's books. Got some of those here. Ordered a lot of those recently. Um, on the left are sort of more of the traditional sutra type books, and then uh, the other ones are like commentaries or essays or dharma talks. Yeah, and then um, a lot of fiction. Um, some Salinger, Somerset Mom, Don Quixote, uh, Prayer for One Meanie, some Hesse. Really liked Persig's books way back when. Um, yeah, some more Hesse, The Glass Bead Game, and Steppenwolf, as well as The Hobbit, and some other um, holy texts. And after this, it sort of more assorted and random, but got some poetry, Emerson, Stephen Jenkinson, um, some kind of contemporary spiritual or therapy books, um, some other stuff in there. Yeah, it's pretty eclectic mix of things here, but all these books do bring me joy for different reasons. And then these are ones, a lot of these are on strategy or, yeah, I also have a collection of chess books. Used to have a lot of chess books actually, but each of these ones that are left really means something to me. Yep, and some more fiction.